new videos every day. Hi, my name is Ron Vaughn, back again. Uh, this is Charles. We, uh, we're today, um, we're gonna finish up the, uh, the sports massage part of the back pain from poor posture. And uh, he's gonna be my model today. And uh, we're gonna be working with him and show you some good stuff that uh, you at home can, uh, can um, not do for yourself. But if you're gonna get a massage, make sure that they are doing some of this stuff. Or for your therapists who are learning new techniques is something you can take with you. All right, now I'm gonna show you some techniques on the side of you, okay? Uh, once again, we're targeting the ribs. You wanna get some mobility in the ribs to help alleviate the back so you can work on your posture, okay? Um, so one thing I like to do is work on the ribs here. Relax this, please, sir. There you go. So he's relaxed here. I can work on the lats here, kind of get those loosened up. And I can feel the tightness in some of the ribs here, rib cage. Um, you also have the scap. You want to be able to have some mobility back here, push it back. Uh, you want to get the muscles in between here. All these attach to the rib. So if you're limited here, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to get your shoulders back. And so, and raising your arms and just, when we're doing this, I mean, just pretty much, pretty much all your hand, arm movements. So you're gonna do this, you kind of, kind of push in a little bit, just kind of get some movement in here. Relax, there you go. So I'm pushing from the back, trying to get the ribs to move. Um, come to the front. Oh, once again, the rib cage maybe comes down here, the pecs. See, so we kind of want to get some movement this way. You can kind of get the pec this way also. Get some mobility. I heard his uh, joint it's popping in there, moving around. So you want to do this, kind of you can feel the movement in the uh, rib cage. And so once again, once you get the mobility, you can, yourself, you can get the strengthen of your back and it's a movement. You won't be restricted. All right. So once you get your, your rib cage pliable, um, you're able to move it back. You can grab right under the rib cage here and don't push hard, just kind of, kind of ease into it. And you can see how his body kind of rotates in. You can kind of, hold his the body down and just kind of lean into him. How does that feel, Charles? Feels very good. <laughs> feels like a good deep stretch. Yeah. So same here, a little higher on the rib cage. So that way you know you got some mobility in his in his pot in his upper body. So, Alright, <clears throat> so now he's uh, on his stomach. Uh, Looking for the spine here. So what I'm gonna do is push back, push away from the spine. You kinda wanna get the mo mobility in the rib cage, get the muscles to move, the tissue. Same here, you can kinda push towards the spine, not on the spine, but just towards it, and get the muscles to move here. You can tell this one's kinda tough here. Um, then you can kinda push the rib cage, like I said, we want to get some mobility in the rib cage and the joint so they can they can help adjust and strengthen. Uh, down in the scapula, you have the infraspinatus. You want to hit that, kind of massage that. That comes up. You can feel it in the front sometimes when you do it. When um, you get on, oh, you get like this. The triceps, kind of massage all that. They kind of all go together. When you have tight triceps, they pull the scap which pulls away from the spine, the rhomboids. It also pulls up to the neck. So you have this, if you're tight here, and if you're tight in the front, and you have the, this action, this is pulling everything, you feel the pain in between the shoulder blades. So everybody says, I have a knot back here, I have a knot here. What's, you know, your muscles can't really have a knot, for one, because <laughs> we had a knot in your muscles and your muscles aren't connected. But anyway, <clears throat> the uh, muscles just get kind of tight and and limited in the range of motion, so you want to break it up. Uh, and like I said, right here is the big point. Once you get this released, some of your therapists out there you don't know, release this, the scap will move this way. I know in school they taught you to do this, 
to get under the scab, which it's not good because you're weakening up the muscles and it pulls here, it makes it worse. So instead of that, you push in, stretch it in, release all this. That way the scap goes this way. So you have this, see what it does to the shoulder, it pulls them off the table. Okay, you're gonna straighten up the rhomboids. And we'll show you some of those uh, strengthening techniques later. So that, that's all the traps, shoulders a little bit. You can kind of push down and stretch, kind of help the joint place itself. All right. Okay, so now, since I loosened up all the scap area, <laughs> I'm gonna push the scapula this way. <laughs> stretch and you'll see the mobility here. So the levator scaps in there, you know, massage that, so loosen that up, follow it up to the neck, to the spine, loosen this up, the base of the skull here that I showed earlier. This is where you, you can, if you guys look in your anatomy books, you can see all the muscles that are attached from the base of the skull to the spine. Um, so you guys, if you look for massage therapists, make sure they kind of know what's going on here. Move all that, get the spine to move a little bit. Elevator scap to release, okay. And then you kind of stretch back here. So, that's it. All right, uh, visit my website, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. <laughs> <laughs>